Hi, Carl here for Pro-V TV, and this is the Video Devices PIX E5 monitor and recorder. So Video Devices have announced a new range of monitor and recorders, which they're calling the E-Series. So first up, there's the PIX E5H, which is like this one, but only with HDMI in and out. And then there's this one, which is the E5, which has got HDMI in and out and HDSDI in and out. And then there's the E7, which is exactly like this, but with a big seven inch screen. So these are monitor and recorders. They're great monitors in their own right. They've got a fantastic quality screen and they've got all the professional features which you need to use to get correct exposure and focus, things like that. So it's got peaking, it's got zebras, it's got scopes, markers, everything like that is already on here. It's also a recorder. So it's got storage media on the back and it can record all the flavors of ProRes directly into that storage media via the HDMI or the SDI. It's also got the full range of ProRes here so they've got all the way from ProRes 444XQ up at the top down to ProRes 422 light and proxy down at the bottom. So you've got a lot of options when you're out and about shooting. You can decide how much storage you want it to take up and how much quality you want the footage to have, which gives you flexible options when you're out there shooting. And that's really great to have those options. So I've had this device for a couple of days now and I'm just going to run you through some of my overall first impressions on it. But overall, it's really positive. This is a great monitor and recorder, especially when you consider that it's actually cheaper than some of its competitors, because it doesn't feel it at all. The entire build quality of the whole device feels really solid and professional. The chassis feels metal. All the connections and slots and buttons all feel solid and like they're gonna last for a good long time. The screen is made of Gorilla Glass, so it'll be able to take a bit of a beating, which is great when you're out about in the field. And it's also got a row of physical buttons down the side. So it's got both a touch screen and physical buttons. So say if you want to get to your zebras, it's just the press of a button, things like that. And in your menus, it's, you've got a um, dial here at the side to quickly get up and down there. So it's got physical controls, but also a touch screen to get in and out of focus, things like that. So it's the best of both worlds, which is really nice to use out and about in the field. So one of the trade-offs when you have good build quality like this is the weight of the unit. It does weigh a little bit more than some of its competition out there, particularly when you add two fairly large batteries onto the back. So if you've got a really small light camera like the A7S and you want to put together the smallest, lightest package around, you might want to consider that. For me though, I would rather have the improved build quality at the cost of it being slightly heavier. Um, this really is built solidly and I think that's far more important for me, although it is personal preference. The only other thing I found that was a bit strange is the heat. This has fans inside, and when you're not recording, they do go quite loudly and powerfully. When you're recording, they do shut off, so noise isn't an issue. But even when it isn't recording, and it's been on for about an hour, say, it does feel hot to the touch, which is a little bit disconcerting and odd. Um, video devices have talked about this and they say it's not an issue, it's just how it's designed. Um, so I'm sure it's not a problem and I'm sure it won't affect anything to do with any recording or anything like that. I do trust what they say. It's just slightly disconcerting that it's warm when you pick it up after using it. Okay, so we've talked about some of the negatives. Now let's go over some of the positives because there are lots with this device. I've already talked about the build quality, the touch screen and the physical buttons, which are all great. It's also got two battery slots on the back. Always a welcome feature, means that you can hot swap batteries out on the go, you never have to power down, you can keep shooting all day. Another thing that they've put in here which is really nice is a technology which they're calling quick boot. So when you first power on the device in the morning, it takes about 31 seconds, I think it is, to, to boot up. Then if you have to power off the device, as long as you boot it back up again within two hours, it will boot up in only seven seconds, which means that it's quick to turn back on again if you have to use it there and then while you're shooting. It's a really, really simple and nice feature. So the storage media is also really clever. So this is what they're calling a speed drive. It's basically a USB thumbstick from the computer's point of view. So it's got a USB 3 connection there. To get the media off of it, you just put it into your computer. It's a really simple plug and play device no software required or anything like that. You just put it in, take the files off, get it, take it out. So that couldn't be any easier to use at all. Now when it's on the device, it slots in really solidly and sits there. 
and it actually bypasses the USB 3 connection and accesses the SASA hard drive directly. So that means that it can get those fast data rates which are needed to record ProRes 444XQ and stuff like that. So this is an enclosure basically with an MSATA drive inside. So you can either buy this as a complete package, um, I think it's in 240 gigabytes and it's just ready to go, or you can buy it as just the enclosure and put your own MSATA drive inside. So that's great to have some options there. The last little feature I want to talk about is the punch in to zoom feature because I think this is one of the best ways that I've seen this used in a product. It's really, really, really simple and easy to use. So when you've got a shot like that, you just tap once in the middle, you focus and tap again to get back out. When you're in that zoomed in mode, you can use your finger to travel about the image, get to the part you want to focus on, quickly focus the camera and tap again to get back out. Really couldn't be any easier to use. And that about sums up the entire device. It really couldn't be any easier to use. Video devices seem to have gone out of their way to make sure that it's really simple to use from the point of view of a professional who's going to be using this every day on set. I think you really need to check this out if you're looking for a monitor and recorder. This is a really, really powerful competitor in that market.